Um, today I want to do a review of my e-bike conversion kit. I've uh, installed it on my bike around six months ago and driven it now uh, for a little over 3000 kilometers. Um, so it's time to do a review uh, and share my thoughts with you. Um, so let's get started. Okay, here is my e-bike. Um, first I want to talk to you about the mounting experience. Mounting this kit was relatively easy. Um, it took me around four hours to install it, uh, including the battery. Um, and battery gave me uh, most problems, but that's a separate issue because the kit um, is sold separately from the battery. You can easily uh, take another battery, for example, a rack battery that you install uh, on your, your luggage rack. Um, so mounting it uh, comes down to the right tools. Uh, the right tools, that means you have to take out your pro bottom brackets and uh, depending on what type of bottom bracket you have uh, you need to um, have uh, a tool for that. So they are easily found online. You just have to um, check what bottom brackets you have and get the right tool uh, to remove it. And then you can install your uh, motor. So um, let me show you how it's mounted. Okay, here you see the motor. So you see here the bottom bracket, uh, it runs through the frame. Um, here we have some excess cable tied to the frame. A speed sensor. Then running from the motor along the frame. And then it splits here, is a cable. It splits into four cables. Two of them are for the brakes, one for the display, one for the throttle. Coming up here we see the display, the button to switch it on and switch it off. And then two buttons um, to raise the assist level and to lower the assist level. And here is the th throttle. Okay, let me tell you what my problem was with mounting this battery. Um, because the mounting holes of the battery holder that sits underneath the battery did not match the pre-drilled -drilled holes in my frame. Um, I could not attach the front of the battery with a screw. So what I ended up doing was um, gluing it on the frame with some polymer adhesive and that worked really really well. You see the adhesive here, it runs all across the battery, um, the whole length of the battery and uh, now it sits on a cushion of glue and it's really really firmly attached it doesn't move at all so what I really like is um, the display display is really sleek and simple um, there's all the things you need um, and it's not too large either you see so when you power it on what you see is uh, your current speed, um, the battery level, assist level and uh, the amount of uh, kilometers you have driven. Then you can go through the menu and the first one tells you how many hours and minutes you have driven. Uh, the second one gives you the total um, kilometers you have driven. Third menu 
is the current power so you can see how many watts you are uh, drawing from your battery which is really handy when you want to want to calculate how many miles you can go how many kilometers you can can drive and then last you can see okay this is your average speed um, the max speed you have driven and now we're back at the beginning so also the button to control it is uh, really easy um, it's it's nicely shaped um, one thing I think is is in the way now is the throttle so um, the throttle makes me I want to move my my hand when I um, When I'm controlling this button, uh, and I would like it to to be a little more to the left, so I don't have to move my hand when controlling it. So, but that's not a problem because I will uh, remove the throttle anyway. So that brings me to the throttle. The throttle is really um, you, it's something I don't like. Um, it's you don't need it actually. You can just operate the the motor with the assist level only and um, that is the way I like to use it um, you can also uh, stop pedaling and use the throttle to go forwards but in my opinion this is really not the way you should use an e-bike um, then continuing on so what I really uh, don't like is acceleration the motor takes a long long time to accelerate so when you start um, when you have to to brake for something and you have to re-accelerate then it's really annoying because um, it takes a couple of seconds um, for the motor to get up to speed uh, or up to the same power assist that you were uh, running in before and that can be really annoying but okay you learn to live with it um, but that's one thing I, I really miss with this uh, e-bike what's really nice though is are the cables I think you can um, detach them here and they are really good quality so far I've driven my bike in uh, really wet conditions and um, none of I had no issue whatsoever with the cables or uh, water getting penetrated into them or something so far so good so um, I'm, I'm quite impressed by the overall quality of this um, with this kit so one thing I was afraid of when adding all this extra weight to the bike is that my uh, brakes wouldn't be uh, powerful enough anymore but that's not the case they still give me adequate stopping power and I'm really uh, glad that I didn't have to replace them then some other thing I did was uh, installing new tires so you can see here these tires are 48 mils um, millimeter tires uh, well, well before I had uh, 35 millimeters um, and I'm really glad I did because it, it gives me much more stability on the road um, so that is a really nice extra because I installed new tires I also had to replace my mud guards with uh, bigger ones because my old ones were uh, not big enough so to conclude I'm really quite pleased with this uh, e-bike conversion kit so if you have a classic bike which is still good and you want to convert it to an e-bike I can really recommend it it can save you a lot of money uh, compared to buying a new bike